Hello, now I'm going to discuss communicative grammar testing. This has been included in paper 4. Uh, let's try to understand first the traditional approach to grammar testing. Uh, knowledge of grammar is defined in terms of accurate production and comprehension of grammatical structure. The focus was on the understanding of structures, learning of structures and accurate production. Focus on concept of forms and structure of language. So the focus was largely on forms and the structure of language. Testing is typically done by means of decontextualized discrete point items such as sentence unscrabbling, fill in the blanks, error correction, sentence completion, sentence combining, picture description, elicit imitation, uh, judging grammatical correctness and modified close passages. Mostly recognition type uh, tasks set for grammar testing like uh, identify the nouns or the verbs. So it was recognition type, not production type. And uh, these uh, traditional approach failed to judge whether learners are able to apply their knowledge of grammar in real life speaking or uh, writing. So it failed to judge whether the uh, students were able to perform uh, in real life situations, whether they were able to uh, interact with people, converse with people, uh, applying the grammatical rules. Now, Communicative language teaching because communicative grammar testing is rooted in communicative language teaching approach. So it is necessary to understand the uh, the principles of communicative language teaching first. So let's see, uh, let's study uh, the few points. Uh, uh, first of all, authentic, purposeful, and uh, meaningful communication is the goal of classroom activities in uh, communicative language teaching approach. Fluency and accuracy are both important goals in language learning. So not forms, not structure, but fluency of the people. The accuracy is also to a certain extent is important in a, a communicative learning approach. Communication involves the integration of different language skills. So in the earlier approaches, the focus was on one single skill like the audiolingual method. But in grammatical, uh, but in communicative language teaching, it's the integration of all the skills and all the skills get equal weightage like reading, speaking, uh, writing, listening, all are important. Learning is a process of creative construction and involves trial and uh, error. Means there is some thought process going on, inductive learning. And then, uh, you know, involves uh, trialing and error, learning through errors. So these are uh, a part of, you know, communicative language teaching. That is, errors are permissible. Focus on meaning than on form. So uh, CLT, they focus meaning on meaning rather than on form or structures. Tasks engage learners in performing language functions. So every time we engage ourselves in function, right now maybe I'm explaining, I'm elaborating, so requesting, ordering. So uh, the task focused on performing language functions in classes. Contextualized learning is the basic premise. So uh, the, the activities, they are put into certain contexts so that they can uh, they, are, to, uh, they become uh, to a great extent a real life situation simulation in classroom use of authentic materials in realia they include newspaper reports rather than literary pieces realia uh, maps brochure these are the materials that are used in uh, clt classrooms classroom activities involved role plays language games mind engaging tasks group work peer work these are extremely important in clt approach now let's move on to the features of communicative grammar testing. A communicative, communicative grammar testing must provide more context than on a single sentence. So a context should be provided than on a single sentence. Say for example, fill in the blanks with a, prep with a preposition and one single sentence given out of the context. This is not the feature of grammar testing. There should be a, a context. The test taker should understand what the communicative purpose of the task is. What is the purpose? Are you ordering or are you requesting? So the test taker should understand the communicative purpose of the task. He or she should also know the inter who the intended audience is. For example, a question is said, write a letter to the principal, write a letter to the branch manager or a sales ex or the sales manager. So that who the audience is, this is important in communicative grammar testing. He or she must have to focus on meaning and not on form to answer correctly. So meaning is the uh, the, uh, the more, uh, is, is important in communicative grammar testing. Recognizing grammatical features is not sufficient. The test taker must be able to produce grammatical 
responses. So instead of identifying grammatical features like identify nouns, identify articles, rather use the nouns, use the articles, use the adjectives appropriately. That is more important. The test should make the test taker say or write something of discourse length in order to perform some communicative task for a known audience carrying some meaning. So the task should engage, should be of a certain length and they should in, uh, engage them in communicative tasks, either ordering or requesting and, and carrying some meaning. Integrated functional approach to grammar testing. Often in CLT approach, uh, the gr grammar testing is not done separately, rather as a part of some other skills. Maybe as a part of writing skill, grammar is being tested. Then use of authentic text and materials. Even when we test, uh, you know, uh, in communicative grammar testing, when we test grammar, some authentic text is given, real life text that uh, students every day see, they, they, they encounter. And then uh, the materials are also very authentic. Now, let's uh, have a look at some of the items that can be used uh, for the gr communicative grammar testing. The first uh, one such item is multiple choice items. These items test the ability to recognize the correct forms of language. For example, complete the passage by uh, selecting the correct preposition from the ones given in the brackets. Circle the correct preposition. The robber had a shotgun and he sprinted on or along or at Park Street. He was running in the direction of or to or across the market and so on it goes. So it, this has been put in a context and they have to identify the, uh, the right kind of preposition but in a context. Rearrangement of items. These items may be used to test word order. The learners are required to uh, unscrabble sentences and write out each sentence using the words or constituent parts in the correct order. So for example, rearrange the words to form a correct sentence. Like the test, very difficult, not only lengthy, was, also it, was, but. So it has, it, it is jumbled up. So they have to now form the correct structure. The rearrangement items may be used for sentences also. When used for this purpose, such items test the understanding of connectives and reference devices. Uh, there's an example. Read the sentences given below. They are not arranged in the proper order. Arrange the sentences by writing a number of uh, a number against each sentence. Now start writing. B. The second sentence is then find out how many questions you have to answer. Finally, revise your paper thoroughly. So the sentences have not not been arranged in the order. They have to work out the order. So this is the exercise in full sentences. Completion items. Uh, these items are useful means of testing the student's ability to produce acceptable and appropriate forms of language. Not only words but uh, of a certain length, a chunk they have to produce. They measure production rather than only recognition. This is a very important item that can be given. Say for example, blank filling exercise. Complete the following dialogue with the correct forms of the verbs in brackets. Let's have a look at the, uh, the dialogue. So Rita says, hello Sumit. Sumit says, hello Rita, come in. I dash, within bracket it is not C. So he can say, I have not seen you for, for a long time. So they have to produce a chunk of grammar here. Then Rita again says, well, I dash not be in Kolkata for long. I have not been in Kolkata for long. So again, a chunk of grammar. So in this way, it can go on. Next type can be sentence completion. In this item, parts of sentences are omitted. These items do not focus on grammar points, but test the ability to use appropriate grammatical forms of a particular purpose in a particular context. Uh, uh, there's an example, read the incomplete paragraph, supply the missing parts of the sentences to complete the paragraph. Many zoo workers are worried by the increasing ill treatment of animals by visitors. If they find an animal sleeping in the cage, they dash. So they have to give a, a longer expression here, which will include grammar, vocabulary as well. The st sticks, bottles are st and stones that they dash. And so in this way it can go on, where they produce chunks of sentences and which will include grammatical items and other syntactic, syntactical features. Dialogue completion. This item measures the ability to manipulate grammar and the patterns of language in context. Here meaning plays a key role in determining the student's ability to provide satisfactory answers. So there's an example. Read what Sanjay says below. Then write what you think Tarun says. So Sanjay says, hello Tarun, is Anish in? Now 
Tarun's response is a blank. Now one has to answer what Tarun has said reading the next part what Sanjay says. Now Sanjay in the next part says Puri but he has, has a book of mine and I need it this weekend. So what Tarun has uh, said in the earlier response, in the first response could be something uh, like this. Uh, Anish no, he is in Puri right now. Then only Sanjay can say Puri, but he has a book of mine and I need it. So he has to relate the first and the second response and then fill in the middle response. So this is a, a very good exercise in communicative grammar testing. And of course, you know, uh, uh, testing grammar and the, the, the syntactic elements. Transformation items. This is useful for testing the ability to produce structures in the target language. Complete the sentence B in each pair given below in such a way that it means the same as sentence A. So in, sen in the first pair, sentence A reads like this, how I would love to speak French. B, I wish I dash. So the same uh, thing has to be spoken or said or written in some other form beginning with this. So it is transformation. Meaning remain the same, but the words and the pattern of the, uh, of the, of the arrangement of the words will change. Uh, similarly, in, in number two, the uh, sentence A says, I won't tell the director if you put the money back. So in sentence B, again, it has to be trans uh, transformed, provided, maybe it can be like this, provided uh, uh, you put the money back, I won't tell the director. So the meaning remains the same, only with the addition of a, addition of a word. Next item, matching items, these are very common. These items are used to test the ability to select appropriate responses to stimuli. These items are useful for testing the student's sensitivity to appropriacy and awareness of the functions of language rather than a knowledge of grammar, although grammatical clues may be important in working out these items. So matching items, matching the responses. Say for example, read the questions or statements in column one and match with appropriate response in column two. So in column one, there, is, uh, there are a group of response, uh, there are questions and in column two response. So a matching, so going to see a play tonight, so we have to read the, uh, the options in column two and match. Adopting an integrated approach, sentences from pictures. The learners may be given handout or pictures and asked to say or write down meaningful relevant sentences describing the picture. This can be useful in assessing the competency of sentence construction, but it is an integrated approach because they will, be, they will be speaking or writing as part of that grammar will be tested. Or alternatively, a student may be asked to describe the picture to other students who haven't seen it. This would help in testing if a student can make sentences which can help him or her communicate eff effectively. So the grammar, the grammatical competence is extremely important so that the others can listen and accordingly they can carry out the task. There is another strip story. Students are put into groups with each group member assigned the text part from a strip story. Students now need to find out the order and resolve the problem from the story. This would test the student's concept of time, order from the tenses, of the sentences. Now let's uh, have a look at the samples. So this is one, this is a picture. So this picture may be given to the students and they can be asked to write down or say. Like for example, the man is feeding the pigeons. It is by the side of a park. So whether right preposition have been given, the right tense has been given, the right, uh, you know, uh, the right expressions have been given while two ladies are again busy uh, chatting. So in this way, so as they speak, they can, now we can also test the grammar. So it's an integrated approach. Similarly, uh, this is a sample of strip story. So it's an entire story, but this has been broken up into certain parts. So what can be done is uh, we can form a group and we can uh, say of five to six or say seven, eight members and we can, uh, and these each, each strip can be given to each member. Now they have to discuss and find out the right order, the sequence of the story. So this is again a very good communicative, you know, uh, grammar testing exercise and classroom exercise as well. So this is what we have discussed, communicative grammar testing. We have discussed the features of the communicative grammar testing uh, and also the traditional approach, how they differ uh, from each other and this is the current approach and uh, the, the various items 
that can be used for gram communicative grammar testings. We have also seen some of these samples. Thank you.